So this is the Saskatoon berry, known as Amenashi alnifolia. It's hardy to zone three. We've been growing it here on our farm for 20 years. It's almost as old as me, uh, this tree. What's great about this tree is that it came from a seedling. Seedlings are awesome because they don't require a lot of work to grow. Like this one, for example, was self-seeded by birds, which is, you know, when nature does the work for you, it's awesome. Tastes great, great for your backyard. And what's even more awesome about Saskatoons is that there is a research paper put out by the University of Saskatchewan stating how Saskatoons are one of the best sources of natural antioxidants that you can find. More than blueberries and at par with black currants, which is my favorite other berry. Native Indians back in the day used to use anthocyanin water-soluble pigments as a form of dye because they're very staining. Now with Saskatoons, uh, they're not the highest source of anthocyanins, but they have a lot in them. Now if you look at this red color, those are antioxidants, which is why in general, nutritionists will suggest you eat darker colored fruits and veggies because they have more of these pigments. And what these pigments do is that they scavenge free radicals in your bloodstream, which are cancer causing. So eating Saskatoons, great idea from a health perspective. And the good news is, is that they grow here in Canada super well. Mm, this one tastes sweeter. Self-pollinating, same growth habit. Won't get larger than this. High antioxidants, very sweet, low maintenance, great for your backyard. Very easy to, uh, to enjoy. Mmm, these are super good.